Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Shogun Showdown. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves here with the Jujutsu Lady. And I think we're just gonna play with the starting tile. I actually don't mind her alternate. I think out of all the characters, hers is one of two that I actually don't mind playing with. But let's go ahead and just do the basics. And see if we can redeem the previous run, which we lost with this starting setup. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is punch and push and then we're gonna try try to stay in the middle and let something spawn So we can do that now here. I'm gonna be a little lazy This is probably not correct because now everything's on cooldown and we got you know a whole situation here It is not gonna be easy for me to fling this one Although I guess it does work. I can wait till it's right here and then you can kill your buddy uh huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do this. And then we'll finish you off. And now I have to wait for these cooldowns to come back. Not the most glamorous way of punching and stabbing everything to death, but we'll get there. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do our new tile the Nagiboku. So this is like a spear, except it goes in both directions. However, this thing won't kill enemies. So if it would be lethal, the enemy actually doesn't die. So, you know, what's it for? Well, you can combo it with Shockwave. And that will still do damage to everything and kill it. Though I'm going to be completely frank with you. I don't entirely understand with Shockwave when it kills and when it doesn't. So I'm not a huge fan of relying on that. Oops, hold up. Eh, okay. I was hoping to do a little bit of flingy-madingy. So yeah, this is just a good way to soften things up, but it's not, you know, something you can rely on as like a super tile, simply because it doesn't actually kill anything. Oh, that was stupid, because it doesn't actually... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, I should really use this to... Okay. Well... Butts. This is sort of getting a little silly. I don't actually want to do this because that's not going to kill. Oh, man, but I don't have any... Uh, I, I only had ways of doing one damage. Okay, well, a bit sloppy jalopy Joe there, but that's fine. We got there. Minus one cooldown. Well, we're going to go for Scar Strike. Stick to the original plan here of making this our super tile. Got Daisuke the Dasher, which is great. Because this is the one that is not a nightmare. I'm going to turn around in case he's dashing. That is his name after all. Whoop. So with the Jujutsu Lady, you can deal with Daisuke. You just have to make sure that you turn around in time and have your cooldown ready. That one was actually kind of close. Put. Put. And then I'll punch you away from me. I think that's, what, 2 HP? Oh, hang on. You're just gonna do that, eh? Okay, let's do this. Let's get you down to zero and then finish you off. Okay. Plus one damage, plus one cooldown. Well, man. So, I don't really want this to get plus one cooldown. Because then it puts it to an odd number, which actually is a problem. But I think I'm going to do it because we just need to get this damage up. And hopefully we can get some slot upgrades and cool down and fix it later. So you could go to Enchant. Actually, this is not a horrible idea. Because with the Dancer Shop, we might get the push damage, which would be good for the punch and for our hero ability. And with the Enchant upgrade, we could find Shockwave for this. The more traditional approach would be to go to the damage shop, get this up to three, and then potentially look for the combo skill that when you commit a combo, it lowers the cooldown by four. I'm actually going to do that because that'd be really good with Scar Strike if we got that. We did not. This... I'm not actually sure this is worth buying. Because I could buy it. I, I could just, I'm, I'm going to sell the healing potion. So I could just buy it and get this. It's just... What would I be recharging when I combo killed with the Scar Strike? I'd be recharging this. And if I reroll this, I can go only up to 11. So if I don't land that other skill on sale... Yeah, we just need to let that go. Okay, Sacrifice Guarding is complete trash. So we'll go here. 
cooldown dancer slot warren could actually both be really good so we'll just see what upgrade i get from these two levels all right so we'll do this combo like this this softens everything up and then oh no the scar strike does not finish because you never got damaged hilarious well i got lucky um i didn't get lucky enough i'm one turn shy of being able to kill this thing so yeah i did the wrong thing that was not the correct combo to do i should have punched i could have easily you know punch killed the dasher and then just ignored everything what are we doing here what are we doing okay i guess we're doing that all right and then this is a kill for both You know, that's a stupid use of cooldowns, but let's just do it. And then I can start making progress towards these. See, if I had that cooldown, that would be pretty sick. I don't know why I did that. That accomplishes nothing. That was going to be a kill anyways. Okay. Punch. Fling. Kill. And hut hike. Okay, I could use a good tile here, and that's not exactly it. So this is a little weird because I think the way it works is that I need to be facing away from the enemy and then use this and it flings them over. This could be useful because I don't have any real range damage. I think I gotta get this. I was gonna I was thinking of dicking around with the signature move, but the issue is that. I mean, if something's far away from me doing damage, I need to be able to get up to it so I can finish it off with my melee attacks. We'll do this combo here. That should kill a bunch of stuff. Well, kills two things. I just gotta remember that that doesn't work if the enemy has only one HP, because it doesn't actually get damaged. Ah, uh, okay, hold up. This is incredibly awkward. It's like this and this. I am really messed up because if the enemy had spawned here, I would not have been able to fling this thing. So I am getting a little bit lucky. Okay, let's just kill those. And then we'll get a kill like this. Well, actually this is better now because there's this thing that fell here in my lap and I can just whack everything. Pretty good combo, though I do wish that I got the cooldown back for it. Okay, this actually works. If I do this, I'll dodge out of the way of the arrow. And then we just gotta wait for this cooldown. Hmm, always with the downside. All right, we'll do this so that this now can soften up just about anything and kill it then with the bleed. And it's also good for bosses. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably just buy a one-way ticket to Cheeseville, and we'll just bleed this thing to death as he hides behind his barrier. We'll use this thing. Hold up, that doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna fling you there. Now, because it's got damage, the bleed is eventually going to kill that too, and that is fine. Oh God, jeepers creepers. Okay, we're gonna do this, and then fling kill. And then we'll do that. I think this might be a kill. Punch! Plus one damage, plus one cooldown. Okay, I guess we'll do the dragon punch so that it hits a little harder and I can kill some things with just it. Well, this way, we know we need to go here and get this cooldown, or the slot upgrade on that. We got junk, unfortunately, from the warring shop, but we got some free money. We can upgrade this thing. I could sell this healing potion upgrade it again, but I'm not exactly flush with money, so let's hang on to that and... Actually, no, I should have sold the healing potion. What am I doing? I, I needed to sell that. That was just uh, wasting a slot. Mmm, okay. Well, here what I think I'm gonna do is just let you kill your friend. And we'll call that a day. Okay, we'll do the safe approach here. Okay, the archer. Okay, no, let's just not mess around. Let's just punch kill. And then we can have you kill your friend. And sure. 
All right, another archer. So we'll do, I guess, this to kill the archer. This kills your friend. And you. Okay, got to be a little careful here with the archer behind. I guess this is the time to do that. And then some kind of interesting combo like this. Whew! Ice! Well, <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting one. I can hit a lot of things and freeze them all. It's not Shockwave, so it's not going to kill them, but at least it gives me some utility. Like, well, there's really no point just not killing them both at that point, but you know what I mean. That would have been a time. Okay, we'll just kill this guy, which means that I need to wait for my bleed. This is a mistake, actually. If something got spawned behind me, I wouldn't have been able to get out of this. So let's do this. Kill both of those. Freeze you. That gives me time for this to come back off cooldown, or I could have used my punch charge. Ah, you can't be moved. And if I punch you, eh, it's fine. We'll just do it this way. Seems easy enough. Okay, I'll see if something spawns here. It did. That was a strategic wait. And we'll just rush over and finish this off. I'm running out of potion slots here. Should have really sold that potion. Minus one cooldown. Well, do I want to use my last slot to make this be four instead of five? I think that's fine. This is almost at the point where it kills anything. Because the other stuff I have typically does more damage than just one. But of course, there is the fact that you know, it. Um, if, if I often damage things with my with my fling, in which case this is not going to finish the job. All right, this actually I think kills them both because the shield blows up. Freeze, and I guess we'll do that. Seems kind of silly. I'm gonna wait here for something to spawn. Oh my lord. Okay. Well. Hmm. If I do something like this, then the punch actually, well, I don't need the punch anymore. It's just this, right? Bip. Freeze. I don't know if that was tactically necessary at all, but it happened. And it was fun. And that's what matters. We're going to have you kill your buddy. Oh, no. If I wait, mm, it doesn't work. Okay, I guess we have to fling first, then do that. Okay. Let's kill both of you. Uh, let's time this punch. Actually, I don't need to time anything. I could just rush up and punch you. Pew! And now this will get a kill. Ah! Oh, God. Okay, I think this actually works out okay because I can do this, and it still kills everything, and then we have the ability to run away from that guy. It's just a little, little panicky for a second there. Hold up. Oh, God. One sec. Do I have time? You know what? Uh, it's tough, because if I fling the first spear, then the sec I might not have enough room to outmaneuver the second one. Do I have time to turn around, walk up, and put a punch on and punch? It's one, two, three, four. This guy, yeah, I have time for that. We have just enough time, and then we can run away from you, and it's not a big deal. Okay. I guess I can use this to kill the first two. And then you're the last one standing, huh? So we'll do it this way. The old charge bleed. Lady Vic charge bleed at your service. Curse. Uh, this actually is fine. You can charge up and then that'll do like six damage or this will do six damage for that matter. Okay. What are you going to do? You're going to do your club? That's terrific. Okay. This should not be a big deal. I just need to make sure I don't be so stupid. As long as I don't be stupid, I'm going to be fine. So we'll just do that, that, fling you. You're going to do your phase. Yep, that's fine. I ain't bothered. And I'm just going to take the slow way out here. We're just going to do this over and over till they die. It is pretty good damage because of course they have, they, they both get hit by it. Whoop. Yeah, try phasing again, buddy. See how well that works out for you. I'm pretty sure that that's enough, but yeah. All right. 
we got two tiles I don't like. Yay! So there's the trap, which I don't like, and then there's this thing, which, you know... Fine, we'll take it. I don't, know, I don't think I've done this yet on the series, so let's do it. Okay, we got this again, that again. Oh, that, that for the first time. Sniper actually does work with Scar Strike. It really sucks I can't lower the cooldown of this thing because I don't have any slots because I wasted the slot. Hmm, can I make my punch faster? Let's do that because that'll upgrade the damage on this at least sometimes. So let's get some money, drink a potion, sell a potion. Should I just save the money? I don't really care about this dragon punch being faster, do I? I don't think I do. We're just going to be moving on. Okay. So, main options here. We can go to enchant combo, actually. Try to find that combo equals lower cooldown by four. And enchant? Well, yeah, I don't know what I would really be doing with that. Warring shop. Warrior's Gamble's garbage, but we could just go to the Warring Shop to go to the Warring Shop. Down here, this is garbage, except for the Dancer, but I don't think it's worth it to give up a Sacrifice Tile just for a shot at, like, some random ability. And then Damage. Well, that is good. However, if I don't get a slot upgrade for this, I can't use it. So I'm going to go up here, because at least I can visit the Warring Shop, and that's always kind of a good thing, no matter what. All right, we got Mr. Fishhook. I need to wait for him to do this, because this is actually... Not enough to kill. Oh, that actually killed his friend, eh? Alright. Well, off we go then. Uh-huh. Well, I guess this is where having freeze is helpful. I can just freeze you and do that. Now, actually, punch is the best tile, so maybe I should have tried to use a different cooldown because that kills both of these. By itself. Okay. Well... Let's just not dick around. Let's just kill this thing. Yeah, I know the curse was wasted there. And then we can kill both of those. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to hide from the archer. And this doesn't quite kill that guy. Maybe I just wait for my cooldown to come back. Ah, I can't fling anymore, though. Alright, we'll do it that. So it doesn't uh, actually hit him with the attack when I fling him, but it'll hit later, and then we get the triple kill this way. Okay, a little tricky here. I'm gonna do this just to kill the dasher, but it does not kill Mr. Fatty Cake. And I gotta be very careful how I deal with this, because if I kill Mr. McFadden, then I need to get rid of that guy. So this is maybe a case where actually I want to soften this guy up. And then let's use our Thingo. Thingo McDingo. So we what? We punch, then we rush over there, and then we use the Blade of Patience. Look at that curse. It was worth value. Plus one damage. I wish I could do that. Ah! Okay, so we're going to increase the damage on Dragon Punch. So now this will kill anything with four HP as long as it has something to crash into. Yeah. Okay, we'll just do this. And I guess that curse actually mattered there. Here we have enough time to come up and punch. And I could do this. Look at this blade of patience. Look at that. Oh man, look at that value. Ugh. Alright, so here I need to be very careful with that guy. I think my move is just to kill the spear with a punch. Leave the basic bitch alive. And then we can do this old combo. All right, here we got Dark Fatty. He is just hanging out like a beefcake. Okay, I could have waited. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. We'll try this, this is sort of stupid. Okay, so now that, that'll be a kill with the curse. Ah, eh, that wasn't bad. We'll have you kill your friend. Punch you. Do I do this? I wanna actually wait to see what spawns. Hmm, oh boy. I think it's gotta be this. Yeah, that'll be a triple kill. And then we can just take our time with the spear person. That's actually a kill. Yeah, this thing is not great. It's just not doing any good work for me, at least not in this build. Oh, hey, I'm very happy about that though. We need cooldown, we need damage. This thing still needs some work. Okay, where's the, the, the danger? The danger is... 
Well, this is kind of... Alright, I'm just gonna have you kill... Well, no, I don't want you to kill your friend. I Do I want you to kill your friend? Yeah, I want you to kill your friend. Go ahead and kill your friend. That's fine. So now the thinking is that I can punch and kill with just enough time. Bip, bip. Pew. Just put the Blade of Patience on here. I'll stick that on here. Something will be spawning soon. Nope, nothing's spawning. All right, fine. All right, we got Fish Hook. And you can just die if that's fine. Now that will kill the Dasher, but it will not quite kill you. So, okay, we'll do this. We'll do this fun move. We're gonna punch you all the way over there, and then we're gonna chase you down and kill you. Ah, oh, that felt good. All right, now this one, maybe it's time for Blade of Patience. Just do a little five damage business, bip. And then we can do the classic starting combo of the character, which is way overkill for that. Okay, here, I'm gonna just have you kill your friend. Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, wait, wait, oh, what did I miss? Why, oh, cause the archer attacked first and killed it, cause it, it always go from left to right. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it, okay. So I can't actually punch this guy into the archer, which means I gotta wait for him to back up and then do this. Okay, here what I'm gonna do is just not mess around. We're gonna send you Oh my god, you have the thing. You have... I just didn't even notice that. This is a real problem, everybody. Oh no. Oh no, because you are attacking in two turns. Okay. We're going to shield. We're going to keep the dream alive. We're going to do curse. Punch. Just to barely kill you. And... We're just going to... Get the hell out of here. Okay, let's have you kill your friend. I'm not gonna mess around, let's just kill you. And freeze you. What the hell? Oh my god! Oh Jesus. Okay, this is a situation. Because, well, I'm surrounded and then if I... Okay. Okay. Once this thing unfreezes, It'll be attacking me, but I think maybe if the freeze lasts long enough, I can punch kill you, fling you over here, finish that off, and now I can sort of stick around. How do we do this? We, what, we punch, curse? Uh, no, we punch, if we punch and scar, then we can fly over there, but then it's gonna be at one HP and it'll kill me. What's the other option? Uh, I could punch, which does kill. Uh, yeah, I don't see a way to do this because I can't get this guy to back up. There's no way for me to back him up. I could, like, punch, which kills, then do the curse, and then freeze while I get my cooldowns to come back. No, I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to curse everything. So the idea now is I can actually kill this thing because the one damage gets doubled to two. It's a little weird, but I'm really trying to get zero hits. I think the fact that I'm struggling this much means I'm probably going to get hit later, but we'll do our best. Okay, I am going to take this. It sucks I can't get a slot upgrade, but this now deals at least three damage to things that are far away. And, you know, that's the best we can do. Let me take a step back to activate Sniper on this boss. And we're just doing three damage every time. I'm gonna get all the way back just to make sure that I'm always hitting Sniper and that I don't get hit by that Shuriken. Unfortunately, that has to happen now. I'm actually pretty glad I got this thing with the minus four cooldown that came at a pretty convenient time. All right, well, this is an easy one. Definitely Shuriken for some support in the range department and we're going here now that we got the cooldown taken care of i don't care about that combo upgrade and again we get garbage oh no okay well you know i have so much money i'm just gonna get this and you know what this thing sucks let's just randomize it oh we got mon well you know what 
Maybe every once in a while when I'm really desperate, I'll do a five damage range attack and pay a coin for it. Okay, you are cursed. That means you are dead. Hey, well, that wasn't too bad. Now let me step back so that the sniper activates and I can kill it. Okay, we'll do this and this. That will kill you. And it actually kills a whole lot of stuff. Not bad. Not bad, I must say. So shuriken plus that will kill as long as sniper's activated. Oops. Uh, right, we gotta change our plans here. It's, I guess, this, this. And then thanks to Sniper, we got that kill. I'm gonna be lazy here. Okay, you are bad. So you are going to die. Bad people die, good people live. That's my personality. All right, that guy is annoying. Let's have you kill your friend. And this actually happens before you shield, but it doesn't matter because you still, okay. Fine, let's just kill both of those. Do that. And finally that, that was extremely inelegant. But we did not get hit. We have minus one cooldown. I think I'm gonna do it on the shuriken. This thing's close to zero and I got the lucky one with four upgrade slots. This could be a very good backup, especially with sniper. I'm just gonna kill you, take advantage of the curse. I'll do that. And then that kills both of them. You are annoying. But I, oh, hmm, okay. We're just gonna wait for this combo to come back, I think. I guess there's this and I could shuriken. Hold up, that's not good. Okay, we're just gonna kill you with my, oh God. Oh Jesus. Okay, I am tempted to punch kill, but then the shuriken gets me. So, you know what? You know what, everybody? It's Mon time! Somebody's got a case of the Mondays, am I right? Oh, something spawned before I could, yeah. Okay, this will not be a kill. Will I, you know, well, let's just freaking kill this guy. Stop dicking around. Okay, that's fine. I still haven't damaged this thing. Okay, it's a little dicey here, but I do get the kill. It's just a simple, oh no. <laughs> Somebody's got a case of the Mondays! I actually think I really needed that. I wasn't sure how I was gonna deal with that otherwise. Oh, that curse did nothing, but it's okay. All right, all right, we got there. Okay, I gotta say the mod was really helpful there. That must mean my build is bad that I keep actually needing this thing. You know, I am just gonna do this. If I get another minus one cooldown, the shuriken can be instant, and I still have a slot left to upgrade damage if desired. Okay, we have two archers behind this thing. I think what I'm gonna do is just this, just to kill this thing so it doesn't make any more shields. And I don't need to worry or at all about this guy because I can kill the archers. What happens if I punch? I think it doesn't kill you, does it? Because you just pop off the shield and you fly back. Let's try this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now Sniper will kill everything. Because this will do three to this one, and then the Shuriken will do two to the archer behind. So I'm really glad I got that Sniper. That really is making a difference here. Here, I'm not gonna dick around. Let's just kill these guys. And now I'm safe. And yes, you have a shield, and that's annoying, but it's also fine. Uh, well, this is awkward. Let's just kill you, I guess, and then take advantage of Sniper to kill you. Oh, we are not even close to done. This is bad. I don't have enough time to get up to this guy and kill him. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is pop this no, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna pop this potion. Put this on, and this is my last turn that I can move. Okay, I guess, shuriken, just in case. So that kills this, and then, oh, it actually also kills this because of sniper, though the stage is so big that sniper gets them both. Okay, here I think we have time to punch before the spear guy gets his act together, yep. Okay, so we can 
kill you thanks to Sniper. And that is such a good combo. And we're also gonna kill you thanks to Sniper. Oh, things are spawning. Okay, well, let's see if we can get an extra bonus kill with that. So something like this should be good. Yeah, that was good. I thought something like that would be good, and it was. It was a rare time I was correct about an opinion that I had. Okay, we have these two archers, which is our problem, so I'm just gonna take care of it right now. And then we can have you kill your buddy. Send you on over to whack him to death. Okay, while the sniper is activated, we'll do that. And now we don't even need sniper to finish it off. Sacrifice style for 40 coins. Absolutely not. I have way too much money. Plus one damage. Yes. Shuriken going up to three damage with sniper. Oh, we got the worst one. However, I do have the best possible build for this boss. We have the bleed. So he can just hide behind his friends all day long. Wait a minute. No, I'm wrong. Oh, no. Oh, God. Because this guy's getting damaged because I ended up damaging him. How do I deal? Crap. I don't think I have a way of dealing with this. Oh, I can freeze. Okay, hold up. Is this? <gasps> I messed up. What am I doing? I needed to not. Okay. Luckily, we have a way out of this. Which is to kill you with a bleed and then rush up to the boss and then hit him with the hook blade. Okay. So now the freeze is significant because it gives me time to do this. Wait for him to be ready to hit me, and then I do that. Now, he's going to spawn some enemies. Alright, and I don't care. Because I can just keep on bleeding. Wait, no, but he's going to do the thing again. Oh, I, I did, somehow it was the same thing. Okay, it's fine. We'll just do this again. We're just going to bleed, rush up, and freeze. God, you know what? The dash and that stupid um, upgrade is actually really significant. That ice upgrade. It saved my ability to get a no-hit without having to use my mirror potion. Plus one damage! Yes! Alright, this shuriken. Shuriken's such a good skill, man. It is just so good. Like, I just got it late in the run, and it's still, like, becoming a better super tile than this was, because you just don't have to work very hard with its low cooldown to get it up to pretty good shape. Now this I don't think I need, so we're gonna get cooldown upgrade. It kinda sucks though, cause I used up all the slots and I nothing needs a cooldown anymore. But we got this at least. All right, we'll get it. When you perform a combo kill, a random enemy is frozen. You know, I could get it. It sometimes might help. Let's just reroll this shop though. Tiles performing a combo have their cooldown. I did not even know that you could get this twice. Do I want this twice? That What would that even, I mean, I guess, I guess it lowers Dragon Punch all the way down. I don't know. All right, let's go crazy here, buying stuff. And I'll keep the shield potion. I really do want to keep the combo no-hit dream alive. What is this, damage combo? Okay, if I get a slot upgrade at some point, that'd be nice. All right, we got a bad one here, so we're just gonna fling you at your friend. And this sniper does not quite kill. Hold up. I need to not be a moron. I, okay, there, that, that will be a kill. And actually, I don't actually need the shuriken, but I just kept it on just in case. It's, it's a cooldown of one, I mean, what do we care? So that kills both of those. You're gonna do that. One shot you with a one cooldown shuriken. We gotta watch out for this thing. Hmm, I'm actually a little concerned about it. I think you know what's happening, everybody. I think somebody's got a case of the Mondays! <laughs> Alright, that was worth it. That was. Oh, Jesus Christ! What's going on here? Okay, I think I have enough time to get my freeze game going, yep. Thankfully, Shuriken can one-shot kill that with a hit to the face. You're getting a shield, fine. I'll just do this the long way then. Oh God, this is still actually not hurting you. Ugh, okay. 
Oh dear, that's bad. Okay, what I'm gonna do actually is punch just to straight up kill you. The fact that the punch does three damage is really handy. And now what I'm gonna do is just back it up, back it up, back it up nice to get these guys. Okay, we got fish hook. And sniper, actually not even sniper, actually just, just whatever, it just dies. Okay, there's a guy back here in the shadow, so I have to be very careful. What I think I'm gonna do is just punch kill you because the spear guy doesn't get killed by that. And now, what? I mean, I have a few different things. I can shuriken. Yeah, this is fine. Thanks to the curse, the bleed is a kill at point blank. I am not gonna mess around. We're just gonna kill you. And then I think for you, we can do a shuriken. Now I know I could have put on this and that and killed the other guy, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the shuriken for that because there are still more waves. Okay, gotta say the curse, yeah, the curse is pretty handy. And this will kill both. Whip. Oh, look at that, minus one cooldown. All right, so what are we doing here? Punch you maybe? And then charge up and freeze? Okay, let's try this. Punch, charge, freeze, so you can't attack me. Kill, oh man, that was good. Very happy with that exchange. Plus one upgrade slot, oh my god. Okay, so that actually, now this is a tough call between the shuriken and the scar strike. I'm gonna do the scar strike, well, okay, what would I rather have? This on zero, or this with three damage? Ah, the answer is I'd rather have that on zero cooldown, so I'm gonna do that. Even So this actually ends up becoming my actual super tile. Okay, I'm gonna freeze you. You can't be frozen, all right, great. No, that's great, I'm glad that happened. I love not knowing who can be frozen and who can't. That's one of my favorite things ever. Oh god, what is this move? This is, mm, I could be in a lot of trouble here. I think he's gonna do a, crap. I have to be really careful here. I think he's gonna back up and then he's gonna mirror, which will land him right here. And then he's gonna do a swirl, I think. So the only way to avoid that is to be in the center or to be here. And I think it actually needs to be here. It's a spear, crap, that's not a swirl. Oh, geez. The thing is I could have gone here and swapped places with him, but then I would be stuck on this guy and I can't fling him. So I am getting hit by the spear right now, which means I need, actually Potion of Mirrors doesn't save me, weirdly. I need actually my shield. So this is gonna damage this guy, who's a real problem real pain in my neck. We're gonna kill him. Okay, this is gonna miss me because he's gonna swirl, mirror, swirl again. That's what I was thinking of with the swirling. I just can't quite, okay, now he's doing that. Oh, I need to, I need to, I screwed up. Oh my God. I just messed up. I could have, if I had moved back right away instead of turning around, you need to get to the edge of the board to dodge this. But as it is, if I stand here, I get hit by the rock. If I stand here, I get hit by the swirl. And if I stand, if I move one, I get hit by the rock. Oh, crap. Well, that is most annoying. Mirror doesn't save, because these are both multi-directional. I needed another shield potion. Uh, this is one of those bosses where like, he gets into a rhythm and you can easily dodge everything he's doing, but for some reason, he just was unrelenting. What, oh, this is actually a horrible situation. Uh, because he's gonna put a bomb, and then there's this shadow guy behind. I'm gonna dodge the bomb like this. Luckily, this doesn't hurt me. Oh, he actually ends up killing his buddy for me. Okay, now we're, now we're in the rhythm where nothing hurts me, because he's gonna fling, turn around, it all looks kind of stupid. He's gonna do this, which doesn't hit me because I'm on the edge. Yeah, I just needed to think for a second and just back up one second sooner. Ah, crud muffins. Okay, so the bomb, we can dodge by just, I don't know, doing a bunch of different things. Although, oh no, this is a problem. Well, I think I can actually get away with it. We'll do this. Oh, do! <gasps> oh, I couldn't do it because the bomb was about to go off. <laughs> oh my god! 
We used our health as a little bit too much of a resource, played dumb, and died. Well, that's a shame because that was a pretty fun run, but alas, not this time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. So, let's see if we can unlock something here. Definitely not this. I don't really want this, so we'll get some random combo skill that I'm probably never going to want to buy. And we got the Hook Blade, which is that alternate Chain Master weapon, which I don't think I'm going to be playing with next. I really don't like this weapon very much, so we are going to just go for the basics. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.